Now a health alert about brain aneurysms. One in 50 people has one, and one ruptures every 18 minutes. And while they may burst suddenly, there can be warning signs that should not be ignored. Sophia Gutierrez's parents wish they had known those warning signs before their 11-year-old died suddenly 10 years ago. Sophia's mom, Monica, has spent now the last decade trying to tell as many people as possible about this risk. Monica is joining us this morning along with the local neurosurgeon who has treated the family, Dr. Ricardo Hanel, who is from Baptist Medical Center. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Monica, you and I have stayed in touch for the last 10 years because I have never forgotten my interview with you and your husband, Omar. Um, you reached out to me because you want to make sure that our community knows about the risks. I know it's very rare in young children, um, but one child is too many. Right. What do you want parents um, to know about brain, aneur brain aneurysms? I want them to know that it can happen to children. I know it's rare, um, but to always follow your gut instinct. If the child is having persistent headaches, be sure to tell the pediatrician and know your familial history. It's very important to know that. It's interesting because you, you, you didn't know, obviously, because who would think? You always think that aneurysms happen in older people. Um, it wasn't like you ignored the warning signs. You thought that maybe Sophia needed glasses, and that's why her vision was blurred. Right. We took her to an ENT. I took her to the eye doctor. Um, we just thought it was normal hormonal things. She was only 11. So we just thought, you know, she was dehydrated from playing soccer, from volleyball, from and then suddenly had more and more headaches more frequently, so. Dr. Hanel, um, what causes a brain aneurysm? Uh, it's a weak spot on the vessel. In kids, it's common to be a tear on the inner lining of the vessel, just like happened to Sophia. Uh, but you can be born with that. Uh, the youngest kid we treated at Wolfson a couple of years ago is a 14-month-old boy uh, with a brain aneurysm. So it can happen at any age, and I think uh, what Monica said, I think that everybody has to be aware it can happen at any age. So don't overplay, don't, don't underplay a headache uh, in a child because you could be dealing with something that is life-threatening, like an aneurysm. So look for help. Now, I know that based on local statistics that five children have been uh, diagnosed with aneurysms here locally uh, through Nemours and Wolfson, um, nearly 200 adults. So obviously it is more common than in adults. That said, are the symptoms in children the same as adults? And, and what are they? Yeah, I think headache is the number one. Uh, when somebody has a bleeding from an aneurysm, a sudden headache, typically described as the worst headache of one's life. But it can happen in kids too, and the kids a bit harder, especially if they're younger, they're not communicating yet. In an 11-year-old, she's gonna tell you, or he's gonna tell you, I'm having a bad headache. Uh, don't don't uh, just say, this is nothing, this is a migraine. Seek help. Uh, yes, it can help happen in kids as well. If you have familial history, that's the point that Monica and I were talking before this. Uh, if you don't have anybody in the family, your odds is 4%. Is 1 in 25, not 1 in 50, up to 1 in 25. If you have one family member, you get a 50% increase. And if you have two family members, it double your odds of having a brain aneurysm. And we do recommend a screening as soon as the child can sit stay, uh, put for an MRI, that we do this without radiation. At, at Wolfson, we can do an MRI with a kid probably in a five, six, seven year old, we can do this without sedation. So, so it's interesting too, Monica, because you were told about this after Sophia's passing, but I, in remembering my interview with your husband, Omar, there was something in particular that really made him go and, and, and be tested by Dr. Hanel, and, and that was a dream right. from Sophia. Can you explain that? Right, we were told that it could be genetic because she was so young, um, and we, Within a few weeks, we were in Miami, and my husband had a dream with her, and she had a white bandage around her head, and there was no expression. She was just staring at her dad, and he felt, and he took it as a sign that he should go get screened, and within three or four weeks of her passing, he had surgery as well, so she saved his life. So he had a brain aneurysm there that had not ruptured, thankfully. Right. Uh, is, can you treat these, Dr. Hanel? I mean, sometimes we hear about brain aneurysms and they rupture and nothing can be done. What kind of time frame are you talking about that you need to, if you recognize these headaches, kind of get to a medical you know, center you know, immediately? Do you have some time? Immediately. Uh, if you have a brain aneurysm with symptoms, with headache or bleeding, it has to be done right away. Omar's case, found out screening because daughter had one. 
you have time, it's not an emergency, but you should look for people that, centers that can provide treatment both by open surgery and minimally invasive. We got much better in the last five, 10 years in the way to treat these animals where when I started 15, 20 years ago, to treat this was like a high risk situation. Now it's almost like drive-through brain surgery. We, we, we joke because people get to the hospital one day, get treated minimally invasive, band-aid on the groin going out. So, and it changes their life. It saves their life. It, it, it changes the risk of that bleeding. And it, we're, it's very hard for us as physicians, no matter how good we are and how much we know about, it's hard to forecast who is going to bleed. So we treat those that have certain features. We don't treat all brain aneurysms, but those that have certain features we treat to prevent the bleeding. And it is very effective in preventing bleeding. Thank you both for being here. And I know that, Monica, I know you have tremendous anxiety every time you take your beautiful children. In fact, we have a picture you. of, of you know, your children, your girls and your son uh, who now have to go and be screened. And I'm sure it brings you tremendous anxiety because you're waiting for those results. But everything has been good so far, Everything correct? has been clear. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I know Thank you. that Sophia makes a difference. She will. Thank you. I know it.